In this video, we will see SAP PP default values view of a capacities in a work center. So, the work center is having a capacity view and in that capacity view, what is going to be put? We will see next the category. We put a category over here for machine as 001 for labor also you can put. So like this the category we put over here. Then there is a some setup formula for time. Like this we have mentioned example as CMRF2. Next the processing formula where you can put a time and a measurement of uh, that particular time. Then there is some header come of the capacity that header will be put a values of start time, finish time, the length of break, how much minute or how much hour you take a length of break then a utilization of a capacity as we have discussed there is no 100% utilization of uh, any time so there we will put a capacity of percentage of utilization next shifts and interval times if suppose there is three shifts okay so according to shifts which shift the work which work is going to be on like this if there is some particular machine that will be work for 8 hours and afterwards it will be shut down and after some days that machine will be work for suppose 16 hours in two shifts so that all data can be maintained in this shifts and interval. In practical, we will see a capacity view of work center in detail. In this practical, we are going to be seeing work center capacity view. After default value view, there is capacity view. Okay. The capacity category we have already choose as a machine. Okay. This is a pulled capacity number. If you are having a pulled capacity. Okay. So you can choose a pulled capacity which you want. Okay. The setup formula is there. There is some setup formula. We can choose a setup formula. Then processing formula is there. We can choose a processing formula also. CMRF1. We can choose for labor time. So next is teardown formula. Then other formula is also present. Then distribution. Okay, so equal distribution or overall load distribution. How distribution you want to do? You want to make on your work center like this. The same way in uh, capacity category you can maintain for labor also. This is first for machine, then second for labor. Here in capacity, there is a capacity header. You you have to click on capacity header while creating the capacity. Then afterwards put a description over here. A header it's like you, you according to your use you can put header next capacity planner group who is the capacity planner then grouping then factory calendar you have to put then active version okay the active version is normal minimum or maximum then base unit of measures that is in hour you can put in minute also okay next then here start time okay if i am my factory will be start at time of 10 o'clock okay start at 10 o'clock and finish on 
six six thirty. Then length break is of I can say or thirty minutes. Okay, if you enter. Okay, that will show eight hours. The capacity utilization by default we take a hundred percent, but I will make it as nine ninety five percent. See, if I make ninety five percent, then capacity per, uh, hours uh, has been changed. Okay, operating time and capacity has been changed. If number of individual capacity, if I put number of individual capacity six. Let's see what will be happen. Okay, so like this. Okay. If I put zero over here, number of individual capacity you have to put one. Okay. So like this, the capacity header it is present, and capacity utilization you also you can put. In this video, we have seen capacity view, how to put a capacities, capacity header, how to maintain a values in capacity headers, how to put the formulas in capacity. Thanks a lot.